what it do chill squad welcome back to another video if you're not part of the chill squad what are you doing today we are going to talk about how to use splice in machine and this is going to be a very easy tutorial for you i promise you i will not be long-winded so let's get into it so what you want to do is you want to load up machine you want to load up splice right and you're going to choose a sample pack i'm going to use soul survivor because i i just love i love soul <laughs> So we find one you like, you're gonna hit plus to add one to the credit. What you're gonna do is one, you're gonna hover your cursor over this and remember the name of the sample pack you're gonna use. Now, unfortunately, Splice does not allow us to drag and drop into machine. Well, machine doesn't allow us to drag and drop from Splice rather. And I have two methods to get around this. Um, one, we can do it in, in machine and one, is another method that requires us to get out of machine from the machine software, but this workaround has helped me out so much, and I recommend you stay to the end to watch it because it's gonna be so helpful for you as well. All right, we're back here in machine, and as you can see, I favored quite a few folders because these are folders that I like to use to get some of my sounds from, one being Splice. Now, I'm gonna show you how to add folders so you can do this for yourself. You probably, if you're a new machine user, do not have as much as I do right here. So when you go to your C or your F drive to get your splice sounds, you wanna go there over here, right? And when you get to the folder you want to, we're gonna go to samples, I'm gonna do it right here with you. You go to packs, you wanna right click, hit add the favorites, boom, it comes up right there. So you, let's just go to something else so you can see the power of this. I went to Slap Experts, jump into Packs. I see everything with Splice now. So this is gonna save you so much time when you download more and more samples from Splice. You just click Packs and boom, there you go. So we remember this is Soul Survivor, right? So we're gonna put this here. And before we load this in, now this is a resample Soul Melody. So y'all know this is only for uh, YouTube demonstration purposes. I'm gonna put this at 91. <laughs> Here you go. So let's just say we want to do a little something different. Let me go to block C, right? And this is probably not going to sound, I might have to mute this, but let's say you want to go to create beta, right? And you wanted to create like a song stack. So what I would say, let's say you really think about the type of sound you want to make. So you can do lo-fi, you can do hip hop. Let's keep it hip hop, right? So this already got something pain for you. Let's, let's get rid of the drums. We have our own drums, right? Now, let's say you wanted to add, let's see. I like how these sound. Let's say brass and wind. You can control the volume of how you want them to sound right here. But if you want to give yourself a little bit more flexibility, if you want to give yourself the ability to um, you know, pan out, you know, the sounds. You want to go to export and go to stems instead. We don't really need stems for this one, so we're going to do, do wave. All right, so with that being our downloads, again, can't drag and drop in machine. I don't understand why that's the case, but it is what it is. One moment, please. Oh, if you're getting value from this video in any way, shape, or form, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most of all, most of all, you make sure you share this with a friend. So we found it. So right here, let's put it out. Audio. And that's the easy way how to use Splice in Machine. Now, there's a workaround on how you could drag and drop because what we just had to do right here, that was just 
so annoying, but there's a much easier way around this where that will never be the case. Let me show you that. All right, so we are in FL Studio. You could download this for free. If those of you who want to see my workflow at FL Studio, there should be a card right here above me. So you can go ahead and check that out. So what we're going to do here is go to machine, load it up here. And just to keep it simple, in machine, what we do is just you can just follow along. I load this back down to 91 to match the BPM of the um, song. And I made just like a ghost pattern so we could play the four bar loop. Now it's fun. Now, Let's say I didn't, I didn't want to use a sample. Let's say I wanted to use a different sample, right? So let's go back to sounds with splice, right? And I want to go browse. Let's go to soul survivor again. Let's say I wanted to use a different one, right? Don't say you down. You gotta stand up and fight. I like this. Gotta All right, stand so up. let's pause that. So you see how we just downloaded that, right? Remember how we couldn't drag and drop before? Boom. Done. That simple. Don't say you down. And it, it's, it kept it in the same pitch that I loaded down too. So. Don't say you down. You gotta stand up and fight. Can't you stand up? So dragging and dropping works effectively when you use another DAW. It doesn't even have to be FL Studio, I believe. If you have any DAW, I just happen to use FL Studio, I'm home at FL Studio. Any DAW that you use, you could basically drag and drop into machine because machine is operating as a VST at this standpoint. So it makes it a lot easier. This should actually increase your workflow. And, and this is the best part. You can actually save your work here in FL Studio and then pull it back up in the DAW on machine. So this is why I would say this is a very effective way on how to increase your workflow. And if you're somebody who is new to using machine, then I recommend that you click this video right here where I break down on how to set up machine from start to finish from the website all the way down to native access into your machine. Go ahead and check it out.